What's going on, everybody? Goose out of the 13th here with another look at a new suit for GBO2 for the week of May 30th, 2024. We had the Atlas Gundam TB Bianca Carlisle use here. It is a raid at 600. Not a flight suit. This is after all that um, fuckery where it got ripped up and repurposed. So, checking out the stuff here, we actually have a sub shot for the railgun, which is still intact here. Saver at 2700 for cooldown downtime of 2.5. And this is this is something that we need to get into immediately right here for the gun. So three shots for the main version of the gun. 2600 range of 350. Cooldown time of 5.5. Reload of 13. Looking at the sub shot, so max output 2800, two shots, 450 range, so 100 more. Cooldown time of 10 and reload of 20 seconds. So, for this, it's the railgun to the bees as a sub weapon. This suit must not fire, but it penetrates mobile suits and offers suppression on hit. The more HP the enemy has, the more damage it inflicts. So, if you hit a suit with full health, and if it has a lot, you will do a really good chunk off of it. On some support suits, as you'll see when we get into practice, you're talking like almost 7k just with this. To follow up into this, you technically have three, you have three stuns here with this in the grenade. Um, if that's not enough to get in there your melee, which honestly really isn't like the big focus of this, even though they did give it more melee than they did range, it is a raid at the end of the day. But let us get into the stats and all that. So starting with here, we have 18k for the health, ballistic resistance of 24, beam resistance of 20, melee resistance of 22, range strength of 25, melee strength of 35, movement speed of 135, top speed of 225, thruster gauge of 75, and turning speed of 78. Going down to parts, we have 18, 14, and 12 for close, medium, and long. Four star suit with space compatibility and three priority. And going down to skills here, we have assault booster level two. High performance balancer level 1, high spec ambic level 2, maneuver armor level 2, force injector level 3, melee combat controller level 2, leg shock absorber level 3, fly control program level 2, anti blast stabilizer level 1, high performance counter program. So after you get to a certain amount of health, you will get an enhanced counter. Um, special back add on buffer level 3, sub arm special cushioning level 2, overboost at level 2 for this. I'm going to be honest with you, I kind of wish I didn't have this. Considering the kind of stuff that you're supposed to be doing in this suit with the railgun and all that, this seems very unnecessary and you're just kind of being pressured into using it when you're getting stun loose because of the fact that, as you can see, we do not have a roll on this fucking thing. And the, the uh, force injector, although it is at 3, with a thruster gauge of 75, not the greatest. <clears throat> you're still burning through a fair amount through most redirects and even though it does have a speed of 225 it doesn't really feel that fast <laughs> at least not compared to other shit but moving on we also have pursuit range auxiliary program so this is increased range weapon damage against staggered heavy staggered or toppled enemies so essentially if you have someone getting piled on and you add to yours you're gonna get a good chunk out of that for 15 percent extra and then we have prevent Pursuit Prevention Attack Programs. This is a little bit new. If the enemy pursuit is stopped, attack power is temporarily boosted. Now range of a reload time and overheat recovery time are temporarily reduced. So you can actually get it through your other shots faster while also doing more damage if you actually stop a pursuit. That bad also just encourages general just range play with the suit overall. Moving on to the enhancement list, we're talking plus one to ballistic for the first one, plus one to range strength for the second. Frame reinforcement is just plus 100, and then at the very ass end at 3380, you get your complex expansion slot. I, I feel like at this point, if you're going to put it at the end, make it like level two or something. Why is it only level one? You have point plus five to range strength for the first unlockable, and then reduces melee damage to mobile suit HP by 5% while toppled for the last one. At 10, 140. These four star suits are a little bit brutal. And this one in particular, we had to do the entire stuff up to get, by the way. So yeah, you know, I'm I'm thrilled. I'm happy. 
That being said, though, we did also get uh, the the FF new. Don't have this in any other account, so at least we have it on one to mess around with in the future for 700. So I'm, I'm happy about that at least. I didn't need this at 700. All these stupid level boosted suits and, and parts. There's a whole other thing I can get into about this game. The gotcha is still ass. I don't think anyone's surprised about that. But bitching aside, let's move on to the next part here. Get into practice. Check this thing out. And then we'll move on to our match afterwards. As long as this doesn't take 10,000 years to fucking load. Come on. Goddamn. Too damn slow. Alright, so in particular, I want to show this off against our example support here. Try to center this. So this is a full power shot. 62 on that. That's with the suit being naked too. If you put a little bit of range on it, you'll get more. But like, that's a good... That's a good chunk of damage on there. Without any extra range mod or anything like that. 45 on the DJ. Depending on where you're hitting it, you're doing a little bit under 3k per plug. The uh, neutral, as you can see there, is just a really long, like, fusion poke. It's kind of weird. Does have a two-step advancing downswing. I wish that the, the first swing came out a little bit faster. I'm going to do something real quick. Hold on. Yeah, it's still a wind-up. It's not like it just immediately has a hitbox when you start charging. I wish it did. But it is what it is in that regard. We'll line these guys up. Show off the piercing here. Boom! And a little bit of boom! So they both pierce. Get in there and give him a good smack. Honestly, you're probably just going to do another real gun shot. You don't really need to do melee after the initial lockdown. But, not a whole lot to show other than that. Obviously, you know, it's got overboost. The way that this moves and stuff, I kind of wish that, for two things. It would be interesting if the sub arms actually were a little bit more active and could block more shots. Um, but it would also be nice if this had mobile shooting on it. You know, just hit the button. I'd rather have that than overboost on this suit, especially as a four star suit. You would think they would allow a lot more considering how much they let the perfect Gundam get away with as a four star suit at like several costs or like at 50 lower than this. So I don't know if that's just raid tax or what, but like this is a really as a four star shoot suit. This is shit. This is actually a bad suit as a four star suit. This feels more like a three star suit, if anything else. But. I'm pretty... I feel like we're still going to see a decent amount. You can see that the, the railgun does a little bit. You get some good chunks out of these, but you're kind of sitting here waiting for a lot of your shit. Keep in mind, though, that because you have piercing on this, you can also just tell the, um... the person trying to plant a bomb the fuck right off. So, that's good. You at least have that. Also, we're getting back into my tirade about... Um, the way that piercing weapons work on this, that hit him here. It deflected, didn't go all the way across, and went there. Fucking... <laughs> that shit drives me crazy, dude. Parallax in this game is so bad. It's like, why did you make this a third-person game? My lord. I know why, because it wouldn't just show the pretty models, but it's not a good third-person game. But, all that aside, that is the long and short of it here, so we will be showing off our match that we actually did in the upcoming clan match map, I'm pretty sure, right around here. Because a lot of stuff at this cost sips boost. Um, it doesn't take much for them to be able to pursue you. And if they catch you when you're tripping on your ass, that's pretty much over. And most of them don't even have to chase you. They can just shoot you from further than your railgun can probably reach in a lot of cases. Mission start. Yeah, we had to whale for it really hard though. So if anyone would like to check out our throne or other means of support for the channel, that would be 
Very appreciated. <laughs> Let's see. What are we doing here? What's going on? They're trying to grab. Beacon captured. Oh, that's my baby, though. Oh, An allied unit's been destroyed. Oh. Oh, yeah, I gotta remember this thing doesn't have a dodge. Minor damage detected. No impact on combat yet. Oh, I hit the thing. Significant damage. Take defensive action. Mobile suit is toast. Eject if you can. An allied unit's been destroyed. An Your mobile suit has been destroyed. Yeah, FF News, it'll be the nicer thing to mess around with when we get to 700 again. Destroyed an enemy mobile. So at least we got two four stars. I can finally use the app. I haven't had it on any account this entire time out of three accounts. So gross. It's really weird. I don't know what the sound effect they're using for some of the the boosting is, but it it sounds really like pluggy. Like it's very, has destroyed an enemy mobile it's very accented when it actually like boosts and changes directions. Oh, 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 oh. Minor damage to oh boy, yeah, no, there's no one here. I see my baby though. Oh my lord, no. Get over it. I'm reading significant damage. Take defensive action. An allied unit's been destroyed. Enemy mobile suit destroyed. Mm. Mobile suit is toast. Eject if you can. Get in there. Oh. 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 <laughs> that wasn't enough? Bruh. What the hell? Disgusting. I know it's a tight disadvantage too, but even so. Yeah, it's got the level 2 version too, so it's like, what was it, 45 reduction on it? It really feels like a gen. Yeah, it does. An allied unit's been destroyed. Long range supporting fire incoming! That dancing on this thing is kind of funky. I kind of wish the initial swipe came out faster. I don't think that supporting fire did. I don't. I don't mind it being uh, an advancing shot. Fuck me. God damn it. Now. The enemy has captured a beacon. Oh, I'm bad. Oh, I'm not good. Uh. Supporting fire incoming. Evacuate the enemy mobile suit. Oh god. Ah. I also just had too much surface area. <laughs> These hyper saber guys are running around just swept. Ooh. Supporting fires all done. An ally has destroyed an enemy mobile. Yeah, so you you typically do the sub the sub shot on the rail, instant the main shot, instant the grenade, and then either get a slap or pursue an MG. And then just wait for your other cannons to come back up. You just gotta remember that the the sub shot, the full power shot, actually makes you commit stance. An ally has destroyed an enemy. Commit stance with no heavy stagger, by the way. It's just that both of them, both shots pierce, which is nice. But I would have also appreciated a heavy. Get off of me, dude! Mind your business. Ooh. An allied unit's been destroyed. That's not. 
That's my baby. No. Let me get him. Let me do it. No. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Oh, he still has stun. Your mobile suit has been destroyed. No idea. Uh oh. Welcome back. Advancing on suits. Two minutes remaining. Bases are now more valuable for this mission. I hit it, shield early. And what am I stuck on? Is that that fucking tank? I swear to God. Minor damage detected. No impact on combat yet. That's kind of gross. An allied unit's been be able to thunk somebody like that. A bomb was planted in the enemy base. No. Uh, the fact that this doesn't have a down thumb, um, uh, a roll hurts me so much, though. I mean, Jesus. An allied unit's been destroyed. Your mobile suit is toast. Eject if you can. Enemy mobile suit destroyed. Hmm? Uh, baby? One minute remaining. Don't give up now. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. No. I hit it. Uh. Oh, God. <laughs> Hank of the Wriggle Ziggles. Yeah, so here's the thing though. Interesting suit, but they adjusted the Wriggle Ziggle custom at this cost. And it's really gross right now. And it's got this big dumb thing running around with enough output to like constantly just hit it and accumulate on it, which is really fucked up. <laughs> Like, you really gotta, like, run them down to try to get that shit. Time has run out. We won! Barely, though. That was a little too close for comfort. That is a good thing that Wriggle Ziggle rolled at us. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, I guess. <laughs> we almost lost that, too! Resting on you, Touchpad. That was us at third place. Who the hell? The guy that we were fighting was actually at second. Who was first then? Hey, someone praised you. You know what? I should also point this out. We have this version of the Atlas. We still don't have the regular Atlas on most of our accounts. I think we still only have it on like PC or some shit like that. Here are this battle's rewards. But well, they have four, a few more rounds, but I'm gonna be honest, that's probably it's probably gonna be the one for the video. <laughs> Again, one of those situations where we almost lost and it didn't really feel like I did anything. As a raid, as usual. <clears throat> so that was our round. We did pretty well for ourselves, although as you can see, we we had to clutch it at the end. There's a lot of back and forth. The one thing to keep in mind is that with the the recent unit adjustments, um the Rigazi custom is actually a real menace and um it's gonna be harassing this suit a lot even with the buffers taking a certain amount of damage off of things and shit like that it's still having to deal with a lot of accumulation um several things on that suit just come either come out faster or hit harder than they used to um and this thing can't roll you know so it's the maneuver armor and all that's only going to shake off a little bit of that accumulation. Especially when you consider that this, as a suit that cannot roll, does not also have DC on it. And it really, really should. But, um, 
So just be careful. Because you have that, you have the Aksha. And because the full power shot does not stack, um, heavy stagger, you're going to have a hard time with accumulation. Because these are all just instant stones. They don't really count like that. You know, so you can punish them if they're trying to slow roll. But the accumulation on this machine gun is ass. You can add to other people trying to attack things to it. But if you're by yourself, you're probably better off trying to down swing early and get that slash out or just trying to um, do a quick tackle and then just over boosting so that you can get your um, maneuverability back so you can do your stuns and yada yada. <clears throat> but this thing on City runs pretty nice. Bigger um, maps like this, we kind of had a hard time and I'm not super surprised even with the extra long range on this. Um, some of the lineups for this just kind of feel a little wonky and you're gonna have a lot of stuff firing right back at you with big like punish hits and shit so not a very safe suit in that regard but that is the long and short of it for the atlas bc i feel like as a four star suit i should probably have more to say about this thing but overall, I just kind of hope that it survives this honeymoon period. Hopefully it, it performs well enough when, when people try to run it in clans, if they do. And beyond that, let me know what your guys' experience are with this as time goes on. And until next time, this is Gustav the 13th. I'll talk to you all in the next one.